is a meme in Moss. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Tommy the Hammer. About to go meet up with my boy, Johnny Rocket. He's got a surprise in store for us, so I can't wait to check it out. I have here a special package from HD Retrovision. I have their YPBPR cables for your Sega Genesis and or Sega Master System. Because I do have a Master System and a Gen 1 Genesis console, I also got the adapter cable that adapts their cable for the Gen 2 system, which it is actually designed for to fit the original Gen 1 console and the Master System with their old school round, like 270 degree 9 pin pattern. Oh, huh. 8 pin pattern, whatever it is. 8 <laughs> pin pattern. 8 pin pattern. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been chumming at the bit to this, get this guy. And it actually showed up pretty fast. I'm good props to these guys. I had, I think I ordered it Wednesday, and it's here today. Wow. It was like Tuesday night, and it got here in a couple of days. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled. Here we go. So, each retro is bringing retro gaming into the high definition era. <laughs> Let's see. To complete my order in full, I've got my cables here. And it nice. looks like that's, yes, that is the Gen 2, Gen 3 plug. And then here is the adapter, one of each. So, patent and ship perfectly, fellas. So Heck far, yeah. so good. We're one for one. So this is like a custom so, type of cord thing. Yeah, yeah. They designed these specifically to uh, plug into, hopefully, just about any TV that can support YPBPR. I suggest before you run out and buy these cables thinking, sweet, I'm going to be able to see my awesome 16-bit or 8-bit systems in full HD color, perform the test, hdretrovision.com, look for the 240p test, make sure your stuff is compatible. Mine, I actually got mixed results, but I was in contact with the company and it was like, hey, I was getting this result, and they said, well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Hmm. Shot in the dark. Shot in the dark. Spin the wheel at your own risk. <laughs> and if worse comes to worse, you can always get a YPBPR to VGA converter. You do have a little bit of column A and column B here. You can't go wrong with the Nah, wheel. I dig the setup, you know, man. This I mean, looks... I, I enjoy, I enjoy all games, old and new. So, here we are. This is my humble setup. It's not nearly as elaborate as some of our friends. Tip of a hat to the dreaded drunken gamer and his amazing setup here. Oh, yeah. But this is actually under his direction. He said, hey, maybe you should check this out. If you're not trying to drop a jillion dollars like I did, <laughs> check out HD Retrovision because these cables look pretty sweet. What are you doing? Boing! <laughs> yeah! All right, this guy. Wow, that's like the anaconda of cables, dude. I mean, I got about a six foot wingspan, so you got a nice six foot cord. That should be plenty for us to get the job done here. Yeah, they're very nice. Hopefully, I didn't just blow up my TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's okay. Well, that's hilarious. <laughs> Make sure it's hooked up right, folks. Something's going. Somewhere. You're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. You are. It's 
a very, I mean, that's an older system with a new device running through a new television. You know, I wonder if you had like a Gen 2 or Gen 3, if that would make a diff. I don't think so, because the cables are designed to work with all generations. Right. Uh, I mean, technically, the only thing I needed to do was buy an adapter to go from the squared pins from the Gen 2 and 3 system to the rounded horseshoe-shaped pin shape from the Genesis, early Genesis and Master System. Yeah. Up. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Sound there. Yeah, it's obviously not just the Sega Genesis. Ugh, like, it bounces between... <laughs> yeah, it's doing the exact same thing. Same thing, maybe even like a third weird color variation. of how we got to where we are right now. Uh, when I first got the HD retrovision cords, I went to plug them straight into my TV's YDVPR inputs, thinking it should work, right? YDVPR cord, and here's the inputs. Well, it didn't work at all. I got no picture, I got no sound. The TV didn't even really want to stay on the component input. It flaked out, and I was very sad. Um, so, I knew that this was a possibility, so I went ahead and got a YDVPR to VGA and HDMI output, thinking, okay, this converter can also plug into my TV, and I'll get one that has two different kinds of outputs in case one input on the TV it doesn't like, I'll have a plan B built in. Well, plan B and C then completely failed as well. I got absolutely nothing from the VGA. It said just something along the lines of input not recognized. Uh, but one thing I will point out is that this model price brand, the model LKB-7600, is the exact model you want to get. If you are following the route I am going on here, definitely get this one because they do make a couple of different versions of these with slightly different model numbers. Be sure to get this one because it was recommended to me by the HD Retrovision manufacturer and I would not stray from that. These guys have done their homework when it comes to all the different converters out there for YPVPR connection. That's the route I went. You know, it's up to you guys. Um, I don't know how much more of a difference a Frame Meister would make. I don't think it would be worth an extra $350. You know, but then again, I'm a bit of a cheapskate and not a super 100% purist like some of our other dreaded drunken friends. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, I'm sure you guys are dying to see what it looks like. So, let's go around the corner and take a look.
hit a few speed bumps along the way, but I'm not one to give up that easily, and I wanted an awesome picture out of my retro consoles, because I knew I could get it, and I got it with HD Retro Visions cables. I would highly recommend them to anyone who's looking to upscale their picture on their retro consoles. Just check out their website, hdretrovision.com, and you'll see all the consoles that they make cords for. There's plenty. I just got the one, of course, for my Sega Genesis. Also works with my Master System. That's what I got, so that's what's good for me. They also, I know, do at least Super Nintendo and a few for old PlayStation consoles, uh, PlayStations 2 and 3 at least, I believe. Uh, check their website to see what they have in stock because they are popular. They do sell out from time to time, but just keep an eye on them. You can sign up for their watch list. They will then send you an email whenever they get new shipments in. So. They're constantly getting new products and always coming up with new stuff, and I'll be interested to see what else they come up with here in the future. Sure. You do their 240p test that I mentioned earlier in the video here. That is very important. As long as you take those steps and are in contact with them, they will help you out as much as they can along the way before you go ahead and take the plunge and buy the cables. So, that's it here from the west side of Cape Town. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. All right, John, thanks for showing us everything. Uh, My pleasure. It's been an amazing couple of weeks. And uh, until next time, guys, tune in again.